You are now getting ready to witness Quay Body Encouragement. You were born with the ability to overcome anything. some praise right now acting like y'all don't know where y'all at huh and go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back or a round of applause if you're able to okay I know I ain't able to and mind your business on why I ain't able to okay y'all judging me already y'all ought to be ashamed of yourself I can't wait for altar call all y'all need to be up here that's all I'm saying um I won't be before you long big shout out to my wife my mother-in-law my daughter in the back y'all give them a round of applause Listen, y'all already know y'all my family, right? Say, we family, right, Quay? Yeah, we family. That, that didn't sound like, that sound like friends, you know? Say, we family. That's why I'm back here. Because we family. We all brothers and sisters in Christ. I know I may not look like you, but I love you. and ain't nothing you can do about it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, can I let y'all in on a little secret? Say, say, tell me, Quay, tell me. Say, tell me, Quay. You guys are a huge part of my life fulfillment. You want to know why? Because, all right, okay, cool. <laughs> because any group, person, place, or thing that God gives me to encourage, I'm instantly refueled. So thank y'all. Because I could not do it without God, but I definitely couldn't do it without you. Y'all are the reason why I'm alive. Because every day of my life, I want to encourage somebody. If I feel like I'm, if I'm not encouraging somebody, I ain't living. So thank y'all for allowing me to encourage y'all on today. So check this out. When I point to your side, I want you to say ready. You Okay, cool. Ready. 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 Y'all ready. Y'all ain't ready. This side is it's over here. Ready. ready. God, Lee, bro. Can you just please give the message? <laughs> there it is. Come on. Y'all give yourselves a round of applause. Golly, got to give y'all something to eat or something. Y'all struggling, man. So that was my signal to start today's message. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I won't be before you long. Isaiah 43 and 19. Isaiah 43 and 19. It's on your screens. Uh, some of y'all had your Bible labs, or, or if you're old school, you got your Bible right in front of you. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Check me out. It says, see, y'all look. See, I'm doing a new thing. What did it say? A new thing thing now it springs up don't you perceive it i am making way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland let me read it one more time see i am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it i am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland how many of y'all came in here not knowing which direction to take in your life on today be honest if you don't want to raise your hand it's all right Right now, she said, she's like, me, I, I can read lips. She said, me, <laughs> listen, it, it's going to get tough sometimes. You, you're not going to know which way to turn. Going to feel like you, that your life is dried up, right? But he's making a way. He's doing a new thing. God is making a way, doing a new thing. And he's making a way in the wilderness and the wasteland. Y'all know I'm a guy of topics, right? So my topic of today is this. There must be something getting ready to erupt 
Till we get the graphic, there it is. There must be something getting ready to erupt. Say it with me. There must be something getting ready to erupt. Y'all can use your imagination on what I'm about to talk about. And I want you to also repeat this after me. Ain't no way I'm experiencing this much hell on earth. Can y'all feel that before I go any further? <laughs> Sometimes it's like hell on earth. Like why in the world am I going through this? Lord, what are you doing in my life? And then I want you to say this. There must be something great getting ready to take place. Go ahead and speak it into the atmosphere one more time. There must be something getting ready. Great getting ready to take place. Is it okay if I get nerdy with y'all this morning? We're going to step into the world of science. Is that cool? Um... When God gave me this message, I thought it was really weird because my favorite subjects in school were breakfast, PE, and lunch. So when he when he said science, I'm like, now you know how they pay attention. <laughs> Unless it were B.O. Nye, you know, when they rolled the TV in with the VCR. And, we ain't doing no work today. <laughs> What's up, Bill? <laughs> oh, God is going to deal with me in this. I promise you he is. So if you look up the study of volcanoes, it says this. Since we're talking about erupting, volcanoes are formed when the Earth's plates move together or apart, causing magma to come up through the Earth's surface. So let me stop you right there before we go any further. Y'all ready for this? If you don't hear nothing else today, let me tell you this. Some of you think that your lives are dried up. But my friends, that's a lie from the enemy. Your life is not dried up. Watch this. Your life isn't dry. Your life is just in process. Can I say it again? Your life is not dry. Your life is in process. Just like the volcano, you may not see what's happening, but just know there's some happening for your life behind the scenes and it's going to bless your life. God is working things out on your behalf. Even though you can't see it. Once again, your life ain't dry. You got it going on. May not look like it, may not feel like it, but you got it going on. How do I know you got it going on? Because you got breath in your body. You still got life. Your life ain't dry. It's processing. So the next time you wonder to yourself, is God going to do something? Absolutely. He's doing it just like behind these curtains right here. It's black. You can't see what's going on, but he is behind these curtains right here, and he's doing things in your life, and he's working things out in your life. It is in process. And you're going to see it. I promise you that. Anybody ever checked in on a job application or a background check? What does a representative tell you? It's in process. Am I right? You ever check to see if your direct deposit hitting the bank? You mad about about to cuss and fuss and and beat somebody up because don't nobody play about your money and your kids, right? Right? But what does the teller tell you? It's in process. Your life is in process. So, my friends, when God moves you, it's not for your bad, it's for your good. He is preparing something major for you. And how do I know this? We're going to go back to the verse that we just said because I want y'all to know this from the word of God. This ain't got nothing to do with me. It says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Take this verse with you as you head into this week. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Focus on that. I'm doing a new thing. Pat yourself on the chest and say, Lord, some new things are about to happen for my life. Go ahead, everybody. Do you not believe some new things are about to happen in my life? You just spoke that into the atmosphere. So so guess what? It's going to happen because you got to speak those things that are not as though they were. There y'all are speaking it. Some new things are going to happen in my life based off of the word of God. Now, let's break down this volcano so I can sit down somewhere, okay? Because y'all know y'all be having these lights up here and I be rotisserie style. You know, I got on a light color shirt today so you're going to see the bacon grease, you know, getting off. Y'all see y'all, Lord, y'all all this laughing and stuff. Laughing at my pain, man. Come on. I done told y'all. So let's break down this volcano. Number one, since we're we're talking about topics and points, number one, just as the volcano does, watch this. Things are moving together for your life, right? Things are moving together. When I go back to that definition, I said 
that you're moving together or apart and things are rising up from the earth's surface. That's the short version because I'm not going to get into all that. I'm, I'm not a meteorologist or a scientist or anything like that, right? I, I picked the easy route. Let me get three points. So just as a volcano does, things are moving together for your life. Somebody say it's moving together. Somebody say it's moving together. One more time for the road. It's moving together. Say it like you mean it. Okay. All right. Y'all felt that it's moving together, Quay. I felt somebody. <laughs> I love it. I know it seems like there's nobody home when you pray. Anybody ever prayed and you felt like God, man, where you at? Felt like your prayers went about this high and, and dropped right back down, right? I know it seems like, that it feels like that nobody's home when you pray. I know that it seems like every time you take two, step, two steps forward that you get knocked 10 steps back. Anybody ever felt like that? Somebody said, I feel like that every day. I'm taking two steps forward. I'm going to get up today. My day is going to be wonderful. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to get this uh, completed. I'm, whatever the case may be. And then you get knocked back. I know it feels like that. But guess what? Once again, we're going back to the word of God. All things work for the good of those who love him. Don't y'all love him? So that means it's going to work out for you. It's moving together for you, just as the volcano does. So it does not matter what you go through in your life. It's going to move together on your behalf. Think about your current situation right now. It seems so far away. You got something over here and you got something over there. But guess what? Behind the scenes, because we're going to go back to the origin of things, it's still moving together for your life. Am I lying? I said, am I lying? If I'm a lie, tell me now. You better take it up with God. <laughs> You've got to muster up. Anybody ever heard muster before? We got some country bumpkins in here. You've got to muster up, as the old folks say, and realize a couple of things. Watch this. God is a man who shall not lie. I might tell a lie. You might tell a lie. God ain't lying. And I bet you won't tell him he's a liar either. I bet you won't. He gonna have you messed up, boy. <laughs> God is a man who shall not lie. That's number one. Number two, God is going to do everything in your life that he promised that he would do. So just because you ain't seen the promises yet don't mean that he ain't gonna do it. A lot of times we get impatient. Lord, when you gonna show up? I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been seeking you. I've been giving, right? And I still feel like you ain't showing up. What's going on? He's gonna show up. Will you start to speak those things that are not as though they were? Once again, things are moving forward for your life. Y'all patted on the chest and you said things are moving forward for my life. Watch this. My finances are moving together, right? Say my finances are moving together. My home life is moving together. This might hit you. My relationships are moving together. I know this is going to knock you off your socks right here. My future is moving together. We ain't worried about what happened last week. We living for today and their own. My future is moving together. Watch this. I got some business owners in here somewhere. My business is moving together. Watch this. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Right? Though he take me through the fire, through trial, tribulation, and hardship. And sometimes I don't know which way to turn. Sometimes it's, it's pitch black dark, I feel like. I can't see a light. I'm going to trust him anyway. Because he has it worked out. It's moving together. Say it one more time. It's moving together. If you don't hear nothing else, know that it's moving together for your life. Number two, just as a volcano does. You have some things that are being pulled apart. We talk about things that are moving together, right? But it also says in that same definition, things are moving apart as well. So I'll say this. Don't be surprised if God, if God starts moving you away from things and people that don't mean you no good. It's going to make you better. You need to stop looking at my script, bro. You hear me? I'm just playing. <laughs> Things got to move together. 
But also, you got to be separated from some things for you to go to another level, especially in God. Okay? You got people and things that try to hinder you. Anybody trying to get in your way all the time, like, get out of my way like a gnat at a barbecue. Somebody always being negative. Somebody always trying to put you down, right? Yeah, that's the devil. That's it. But what I tell you? <laughs> People and things that try to steer you in the wrong direction, right? People and things that they really don't care about your well-being. As long as you don't get better than them, you know. Oh, oh, struck a nerve. Yeah. People trying to take you down. So don't be surprised if, if God starts moving you away from the things and the people that don't mean you no good. Some, uh, some of us have been consumed by the lies of the enemy. There it is. And we must be pulled apart from those lies in order to look towards better days. Separate yourself from the things and the people who, the negativity, there it is. He wrote my script for me, y'all. <laughs> Separate yourself. That's the only way you're going to advance. That's the only way you're going to get better in your life. So yes, God is moving some things together for your life. But he's also moving some things apart. He's allowing you to see some things. I tell people all the time, have your spiritual eyes open, keep your ears open, and allow your heart to feel and see what is going on every single day. He will show you. He'll put something in your heart, put something on your mind, or allow you to hear something or to see something that'll, that'll change your life. But you have to be willing to pay attention to it, right? We get so busy and we don't pay attention. The whole time he's, he's showing you what you need to separate yourself from. He's showing you, I'm, I'm about to move this out of the way. I'm, I'm about to move this apart. Watch this. A lot of y'all going to be able to relate to it because we all been there before. Have you ever went to your car and tried to crank it and went start? Y'all start laughing. <laughs> Boy, I am this morning. <laughs> that was a nervous giggle. Like, I hope it start when I leave today. <laughs> that nervous giggle. Y'all so funny. <laughs> You ever went to your car and it wouldn't start. And so you pop the hood, right? And you're looking around and, and some of y'all might be shade tree mechanics and some of y'all might not know about cars at all, right? But, but you're looking and you get over to that battery and you see corrosion on that battery, right? What does corrosion do? Pour some Coke on it, Pepsi, anything, yeah, right, whatever, right? It is soda, baking soda. But you see corrosion on that battery, and if you got enough buildup of corrosion on your battery, it will not start. So what do you do? You remove the corrosion, right? And once you remove that corrosion from your battery, your car does what? It'll crank up. Until you, until you move apart what is holding you back, it will be difficult to advance in your life. Just like that corrosion on your battery, you ain't going nowhere until you move and separate yourself and really see what God is trying to do in your life. So I say this, move the corrosion out your life. Whatever that corrosion looks like, move it out the way. We ain't letting nothing else hinder us no more. Yeah, I said it no more. What my English folks said in here? I told y'all my favorite subject was breakfast, lunch, and, and PE. So hey, don't be expecting too much out of me. No mo, N O M O. You heard what I said. <laughs> Number three, final point here. Final point. Just as the volcano does, you have some things that are about to come up in your life. Somebody say, "Come up." It's about to come up in your life. So we talked about some things that are moving together, right? We talked about some things that are being that are separating and, and moving apart. But now we're going to talk about what's coming up from the earth's surface, as the definition says. For all of the rainy days you've experienced, you have to know that sunny days are coming, right? It ain't going to rain forever. It ain't going to storm forever. Y'all saw that last week. You know, we're talking about storm, storm, storm. It didn't last forever, did it? Sunny days are coming. Despite all your hard times, despite all your hardships and the things you've been through, better times are coming. For all the pain you've experienced, joy is coming. Some of y'all are going through pain right now. You came in here, man, I don't, Lord, I don't even know if I'm uh, coming or going sometimes. But guess what? In all of your pain, joy is coming. 
For all of your hardships that you've experienced, watch this, blessings are coming. For all of your hardships that you've experienced, blessings are coming. Uh, one of my favorite things ever from the Bible is this. I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I, sh I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What that means, if you want to put it in layman's terms, is this. Before I leave this world, I'm going to see everything that God has for me. Right? Before I leave this world, everything that, everything that he's shown me, everything that he said in his word, it's going to happen for my life. It's coming up. It's coming up. It is coming up. When you see visions and have things in your head that are positive and things that are going to advance the kingdom of God, don't think it's by mistake. It's on purpose. He's already giving you a preview of what is to come. When you go to the movies, you don't just see the movie first that you came to see, right? What do you see first? Previews. It's showing you what? What's to come. He's showing you previews right now of what is to come in your life. But some of us get impatient and we try to go ahead and, and, and skip to the movie. Look at the previews. He's showing you that for a reason. Somebody say, my come up is here. It's about to overflow. One more time. My come up is here. It's about to overflow. My come up is here. It's about to overflow. Anybody ever... Went to go see some hot springs before. Anybody into into nature like that? I had a chance to go to Yellowstone National Park before, um, up in Montana. And and you have the and you have you don't do nature. You need to start doing it, girl. Hey, it's peaceful. <laughs> but when you go when you go to see the geysers or the hot springs, right? Anybody ever seen the geysers before? Been to Wyoming or Montana or you know up north? When you go to see these geysers, at Yellowstone National Park, there's one geyser in particular. It's called Old Faithful. You can Google it right now. It's called Old Faithful. And Old Faithful, every day, has a time that it goes off. There's an appointed time. When you get to that part, they're going to tell you Old Faithful goes off at this time. Right? Just as Old Faithful has an appointed time, you have an appointed time too. So don't worry about what, what time is going to come. Everybody looking at your smart watches and Apple watches and your Rolexes. Well, what, who got a Rolex and who got a Rolex in it? Wave it in there. Okay, so we all, we all uh, po' folk. Cool, good. <laughs> We're looking at this watch right here. And this ain't the time that God going to bless us. He going to bless us in his time. Just as these geysers shoot up in the air hundreds of feet, God is going to bless you at an appointed time too. Geyser has an appointed time. You have an appointed time. You've got to believe in it. You've got to have faith in it. And you've got to trust in it. Watch this. As the old folks say, press down, shake it together, and run it over. That's what's getting ready to happen for your life. For everything that you're putting in, in your life. For everything that you're doing for the kingdom of God. For every, for every time you get up and, and just try every day. It's coming up for you. Things are moving together for your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you say. Also, people are being moved away. Things are being moved away that don't mean you no good in order for God to get you ready for your next level and your next step. And number three, your come up is here. It's here. I don't know what your come up looks like. My come up may be different than your come up, but it's here. I'll say this as the band comes up. Don't give up. Don't quit and don't lose hope. Somebody say it with me. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't lose hope. Look to the next person. Look to the person next to you. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't lose hope. Even though the times are tough right now in your life, hold on to the fact that something is getting ready to erupt for the good in your life. There ain't no way possible that you're experiencing this much hell on earth and there not be something good that comes on the other side of it. Think about it. Think about it. You know, I started thinking in my life when I pray or fast or 
I'm wanting God to move in my life. And it may not happen once again when I want it to happen. Y'all, y'all don't judge me for this. I start thinking about SpongeBob. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you ever seen the episode of SpongeBob where he has the guy that's harassing him and he's saying, and the next day, and the next day, and then y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. I feel like that about my life. And this is how you should feel about your life. Lord, if you don't bless me today, it's going to be the next day. And if it ain't that day, it's going to be the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. I'm going to stand still and I'm going to see your promises. I'm going to stand still and, I, and, I, and I'm going to know that you're moving things together for my life. I'm going to stand still. I'm going to trust when you take things and people away that don't mean me no good. I'm going to stand still while you're uh, working on my come up in my life. There must be something getting ready to erupt in your life. And my friends and my family, it's going to be something good. I promise you that. Thank y'all.